So, making an update here. I don't know why I bought it these years, I'll probably just turn it off. Oh, bloody hell, the brightness. So, I need to find my wireless earphones. I have them down there for a minute ago. I'm going to go back to them. I'm talking to another college vlog. Tomorrow is one of even weirder because tomorrow I have half a day of college. Then I have two and a half hours to burn, and then I'm at work. Ugh. I genuinely feel bad today. I was a dog and I'm not working, but I'm not working and I'm not working. I'm not working, but I'm not working. I'm not working, but I'm not working. I'm not working, There we go, I got them. So I can't believe how funny those were. Oh. Today here's another one where I've got college. It's full day of college. But. <laughs> but it was up for good at the end, if you want to call it that, which I would. At the very end, I don't have to go to work. I'm not in. No. Because I don't want to work. So like, they're probably going to phone me up and be like. Yeah, do you want to come in? And uh, my response to that will be instantly, no, I do not want to come in. I'm going to make this shift this week. I'm very content. I mean, yeah, I like having more money, but I also like, you know, because I'm pretty sure this is my last day off that I'm getting until... What? Next Monday? Well, it's coming Monday, so it's gonna be a while. So, no, yeah, not fun. So, I'm gonna quickly show this pack anything. Um, the current time is 8.07. So, see if I can go to McDonald's and get a coffee and paper on because I feel like I need abundant sleep the greatest. There's a spring or something on my mattress that's leathered and it's stabbed and cut all over my legs. So, I took this foam stuff that I got inside my Amazon package. So over the push the springs down, bent that old springs feels like new. So it's better than buying a whole fucking mattress. Oh, I'll give it that. Definitely more cost effective than that. I just need to grab my Today will we'll be the sketch part of the course, so we'll find out when we get there. Okay, this is now the off chance to join the interesting thing. I had to jump to work to buy cheap ass snacks. So, yeah, he's off for that. Yeah, my window's open. So I'm gonna going to go and see you guys when I get back. Like, that's a nice guarantee that they, because I'm not working. Right away, hoping to work for a better vlog. I will see you guys later on. Joe, you know it's funny, this is not a weed farm, surprisingly. This is just bushes and a path. We're not privileged enough to have our own personal weed farm. Like everyone else in this fucking area. <laughs> see, unlike the last one where I went to work after college, I hung out with a retard that's easier. Yeah. Bro, well, we're currently planning the whole video fight. Like, see this year, I want to put more effort into that video. And show something other than my feet, the floor, and the shank things we bought that. Like, I might rewatch that on mute when we get back to yours just to see, like, how good is that video? And what can we improve? Because I don't often venture outside. In fact, there's only two videos on that channel where I venture out of the room. One is that video that we just mentioned, Brian Lego at Comic Con 2022. The other one where we went, no, went and got the indie sets. I vlogged a little bit of buying those because I'm like, this is somehow special. 
They were above what gun ship. I'm not going to buy day one. That's not special enough. I'm just going to mail order it on Amazon. Paddle! Or, tell you what, see, oh, we, we could just go into the Lego store on Friday the 8th. If I'm not working, that way I can get the VIP points. I would like to get the points. It's a pile, it's a pile of shit, but I want the points. In fact, when we go on this site, I'm going to see what points I could get for that and the DeLorean. Water! Oh, no matter what set you get, the instructions will always be... No, I mean like the value from the set itself. I know. I've got like a couple of instruction manuals I still need to scan. <laughs> <laughs> I found my second, I found both my 332nd battle pack manuals. I might buy another two of those. I still want to give you a free commander form. Sorry, no, ca uh, Captain Vong. Oh, yeah. I wish they did Commander Fawn. He's the not scumbag version of Commander Fox. <laughs> he's not the one who die. He's not the one who gets his four, four strokes. He's that one that yells the, the, the chain gun. gun and it takes four fucking shots to kill him. Yeah. He's there for the Republic guy. <laughs> That's what arc that, that gunship's based on. The Scipio arc from season six is apparently the one everyone seems to think it's from. Then why do we not? Why do we have to get fucking complicated? We could have got um, Russia over for one of those immunity people. You know, those are both more desirable, I'd imagine. Like, you know, the immunes, the banking clan people, we could have got Russia over. Like, I would have loved if instead of the senators, we got um, a pilot, the two shocks, Fox, and then Thorn. Like, if you had made it a strictly clone trooper set, I think you'd have won more people over. Yeah. I like Padme, I like Palpatine, because neither That's of them... Game. No. Palpatine has not had a prequel or version since 2014. Padme has had no version since 2019. And just about every version of Padme is episode one base. There is no Revenge of the Sith Padme's. I don't know if they don't want to make a pregnant minifigure or what Even though the there's no model, uh, you know the way the Kaminoans are made? What and, do you mean? And the Kaminoan models. Well, for the game. Yeah, they have. Uh, I don't know if they do it or not. No, they use a brick for the torso. Yeah. After that, or like a uh, square brick. Mm. So that you have the second bit outwards to resemble pregnant pattern. Yeah, true. I have a rough I, uh, yeah, I've got a rough idea of what you're referring to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think I know the one you mean. I've got that camera on mini figure actually. That's probably why you mentioned it. Just was it the... I don't know if it's Lego doesn't want to make a pregnant version or not. They've never actually... I suppose there's only one set you could have, they could have successfully put pregnant pattern in. It would have only worked in one set the way I see it. The 2012 Anakin Jedi Interceptor, because I had the whole Mustafa scene. Mm -hmm. You shoved it in there. Yeah. Instead of, you know, I, I do like the inclusion of Nuke Gunray in the battle droid, so you can have the separate as murder scene as well, as the duel. Mm. Instead of the whole breaking your heart scene. No, don't pad me, don't worry, you have, four, you have three hearts left. Ha! <laughs> Meme! So welcome to the final clip, the last clip of us walking around that dark more ones, we just sat our heads for a bit. You know, watch the telly, we watched this whole this week. Hey, Tom, the show's good, it's got a good plot, it's got a good story, which is more than I can say for Disney Star Wars, but... <sighs> the actress playing Ahsoka, I don't think she knows who Ahsoka is, or... You know, any of Ahsoka's mannerisms, or the character, it's bad. So, like... Again, no hate towards anybody, but that nah, Chris needs to do her job a bit better. Than she's the way Ahsoka is is just, I wish Disney would stop doing it. Like I'm not a fan of the live action stuff. I'm just like Star Wars. Yes, movies should be live action, right? But for the shows, I wish they had followed the Clone Wars concept a bit more. I mean, other than Rebels, Tales of the Jedi, maybe one or two other ones, it's all live action, which is great. It's cool to see in live action, but from the point of interest that, you know, say you've got all these characters, right, from the one from Star Wars Rebels who are now coming into the live action, 
their actors teams and some of the actors the, the look of the characters is a bit off so at that point would you not you know kind of be a bit better or just um, you know, put this down here. would you kind of not just be better you know um keeping it animated that way you can have the original cast and stuff for the voices and that sound right and i'm just just moving a quick whip it around i explain why i've got clothes for the ones Mom's gonna be a pain in the ass. A major one. For a second. So, we just got the cones out, and me and Cody were talking about a future project when I get my own place, the whole film like a retro style cone base, basically, back in 2008, 9, 10, 11, your base plate, your cone base would consist of, would be one or two, two if you're lucky, if you're lucky, if you're one, some of them had four, and these four, eight by four, eight grade base plates, you have a couple green ones out for your kind of jungle or whatever. And then your entire wall, right, of your base was built out of these. I'm going to remove a couple of these to develop half of what the whole base wall was like, the whole perimeter would look like. The reason I removed these and just didn't go in, by the way, that's this drawer. Let's see inside. The reason I took these is it was always in this grey colour. Sometimes you'd add a bit of dark red or maybe like a white or a bit of black, but. This is more or less what you used as your main building material off the base plate. Let me quickly show you how that would normally work. And this here was more or less what your wall would look like. This would be like the end kind of cap point, and you'd have a wall like that, which, you know, obviously now like, primitive is like what Lego would have been like before themes, and you, know, like, you just build up random walls. There's a few variations of this, but this was like the most commonly used one. You'd have like the holes in the middle, which, you know, with Star Wars logic, you know, that would make no sense. Your base would be immediately invaded but it's kind of a project they're giants like these bases were only the most the biggest ones were still only like a couple of base plates because these bricks are so cheap and so more or less i'll go over the figures in a minute it'll be a cost effective building series to do which i can have some fun with as a tribute to something that i remember doing as a kid i'm quickly take these bricks and put them back on the there you go you got that looking brilliant so yeah here, so we have an on the go moment. I couldn't even fit them all in this model base point. Fair enough, I was mentioning good base points. So my plan is between now and me moving out is I might start gathering materials. You know, so I've already got them. So we've got basically the whole point is we cannot have any cone troopers newer than 2009. So some people would always throw like snow troopers in them, I'm not doing that. Some people would throw phase two clones and do it. I might do that. We've got three pilots, we've got a commander. We have twenty-four of the white phase ones animated set. Four of them have jetpacks, the other twenty do not. We have four of the gunners, we have eight of the bombs from two of the off troopers and two of the horn company. And of course we've got the original two thousand eight commander. Thought they got Captain Rex and Commander Cody in the original version. Just want to pull it out because we go one deep in here. Hey, what do we already have? Just a few minutes till till um. So I kind of want to keep this out for a little bit on the screen. Wow, do no cool more screws. Screw it. I'm going to put these down here so for the space. No glass of space created. You can't blame it on how cool these clone troopers look. You have to get this way. Then. Oh, Rex and Cody in front of these guys. It's not all my clone war style. I do have the Arc Trooper in those um, Rank Corp Talon clones, but they were 2012, so they don't count. Damn, it's like a retro Cone Wars army, I'm right there, that's cool. 
I might actually keep that on this way for a bit. I am get, I'm gonna be buying some minifigures soon. Plenty clones, which I do want to get more of these phase ones. So I think if I'm going big, I'm gonna get plenty of them. It's like oversized version of the whole concept. I was holding this up for you last night, trying to find a bloody huge spider that buggered off during the night, but it was in my room. I was like, I'm going to go to sleep with that and crawl around. Right, I'm going to quickly put that in there. I'm going to get some pajamas on, and I'm going to go for more. See you in a moment. So, here's one for you, right? And that's just quick midnight, so welcome to the final day of August. How many was that? It feels like literally yesterday I was in Edinburgh and we were making the vlog. We were making the vlog talking about how we are literally just about to enter August. What the fuck? So, I'm not complaining because it'll be about... Mm, it's a week tomorrow till payday. So it's a week tomorrow I, I'll be buying that new Republic gunship. I'll be a big army and I won't be able to use it in the virtual clone project again. It's 2011 back. Which is quite good because a lot of the Clone Wars vehicles I have are from that era. No, I've got Anakin, Starfighter, because all be Jedi and stuff, that's just the clones that I've wanted to have. See, so, you know, I've got Anakin, Starfighter, I can use that, I can use the Republic gunship, the, the um, oh crap, what you call the Gain Republic Thaxal, the Retro Clone Battle Pack. Same for the Separatist, I can use most of the stuff here, just not the Molly Vaughn's or the Tri-Droid. Trust me, I'll buy some stuff in between now and then, so I'm going to quite a bit of fun with this. Okay, anyway, I'm up at half past six. Which is both great and also not great, because I don't like getting up. I, I don't want to, but I have to. I'm trying to find the plug. One sec. Of course, the bulk of the vlog's at the end. I see, I trust the person who looks, usually gets everybody up in the morning. The problem is, I'm involved and I like to have the electric go off. So, you know, I saw it. So tomorrow is a pain in the ass, right? I genuinely thought that they would use first days. It's my main shift day, so I'm thinking right, it's a half day of college, and I'm not back and again till, you know, a Tuesday. So I was like, oh, that's great. That might actually work. Problem is, they've taken a different route, so I go to college at half twelve. They won't mean work for half two. I'm thinking, ah, crap, I could have like go home and just chill it time before to go in, but. You know, unfortunately not, everybody can always line up that way, so yeah. But what do you guys think? Right, this is, again, I have plenty of Jedi battle droids that come from that, you know, pre-2011 era. But these are the clone troopers I've already been able to amass for, which is pretty cool. I do want to get a Commander Fox to go with him, the other, the other major commander they raged in the original 2008, but I'm ready for that, I'm guaranteed to be getting more of these. Next Friday when I get paid, I'm going to make a bulk order of minifigures. I want to get another form of plastic, buy four of these per month at the least. One, it does two things, it bulks up for this project and it bulks up my clone army. Because like I was saying, I have, you know, nearly 5501st related stuff. Um, that does not have this right coming out of the way, the phase one really. And with that, it's like everyone else will have a huge 504 section. I'd rather have a cool classic like this. The other thing I want to add is maybe another four gunners just to go along with all these. Plus, it'd be great for having turrets on the base. Can I get some more pilots? Obviously, you've got a commander there with the arc gear on. It's working pretty snazzy. It's kind of something I've been building up. It works for two things. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go tomorrow and I'm working till 10. I. And then I'm thinking. And work early the next, honestly. Do not expect much from me over the next couple of days. I'm like, pucker for, for producing. See you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Thank you very much for watching.